this video is all about e that's ethereum r that's request for c that's comments and 20 and it basically it comes out to be erc20 ethereum request for comments 20 now uh, before we begin what exactly we are talking about erc20 and what are this uh, ethereum request for comments let's discuss few essentials now erc stands for ethereum request for comments and exactly on the lines of rfc in case you might, uh, i'm sure you must have heard request for comments it is exactly on the same lines a similar concept uh, which was uh, devised by the ietf uh, that's rfc and it is meant for conveying essential technical notes and requirements to a group of developers and users peculiar to the ethereum uh, blockchain uh, ERC, they are application level standards for Ethereum and uh, can include token standards, names, registries, library packages, formats and more. Now this video will be peculiar to the uh, token. What ERC20 to tokens are, uh, how are they created and how are they transferred and uh, used. So anyone can create an ERC. Anyone, but it is the author's responsibility to clearly explain their standard and foster support for it within the community. And these are technical documents used by smart contract developers at Ethereum. And these are approved by the Ethereum community developers to coins or tokens based on their functionality, methods, behaviors, which is tested as per the Ethereum ecosystem. ERC, uh, the well-known uh, ERC standards, uh, few of them are, about six of them that I'll be discussing here, ERC20. I'll be discussing uh, and doing this video will be focusing more on the ERC20 part and later on I'll take on ERC721 and other uh, standards. So ERC20, ERC721, then we have got ERC223, then we have got ERC621, NEP5, ERC827. All these six standards, they have got their unique characteristics of, with respect to the, uh, in case we did, uh, typically classify about the fungibility uh, part. So ERC20 will be uh, peculiar to the fungible uh, tokens, whereas ERC721, uh, they will be peculiar to the NFTs, non-fungible tokens. And uh, one of the, uh, these ERC20, yeah, they are the most, one of the most significant Ethereum tokens and they have emerged as the technical standard for all smart contracts on the Ethereum blockchain for token implementation and it uh, has a set of rules and we will be uh, scrolling down exploring uh, the standard ERC20 smart contract which is there easily available and I will be showing it in this video post also. So the rules include how the tokens can be transferred, how the transactions are approved, how users can access data about token and the total supply of tokens. So just like the mainstream cryptocurrencies like uh, Bitcoin, they can be used to make purchases or traded for fiat currencies and crypto. Uh, if I mention here that they can be used as Bitcoin. So uh, in case we are creating a token in this video uh, and uh, it is used massively and uh, it can be uh, shifted on the, onto the main Ethereum blockchain. Of course, these tokens can be used for buying and selling anything. For the t uh, this video part, we'll be again moving on the ERC token, creating the ERC token on uh, the Robston test network. And these are uh, all blockchain based assets that have value and can be sent and received. So of course, now ERC20 are issued on the Ethereum network only and they cannot be transferred of course. So generally speaking, ERC tokens are fungible, means that each of them are identical and can be easily exchanged. So that's the basic uh, difference that we'll be working out uh, later on also. What is the difference between fungibility? So fungible is basically uh, the uh, simple meaning is replacement. They can be replaced with each other. So one ERC token is exactly equal to another ERC token, uh, whatever tokens are created in the name of. And non-fungible are non-replaceable. So these are basically peculiar to the ERC721 standard and we'll take on in the next video. So a few more characteristics, open source web and desktop application, we'll be using, uh, doing all these creation and transferring of tokens from one account to another on uh, the uh, Remix ID, that's uh, another browser extension, uh, abs absolutely an awesome tool and uh, it fosters a fast development cycle and has a rich set of plugins with intuitive GUIs. So uh, again, few more characteristics. Uh, about Remix, it is a powerful open source tool that helps write Solidity contracts from the browser. That means uh, whatever Solidity contracts you have written yourself or whatever are available on the web uh, for experiment and uh, learning, you can deploy all these smart contracts just like a normal uh, deployment on a blockchain with the help of Remix ID. And uh, of course, we'll be using the MetaMask wallet. Uh, just prior uh, to this video, we I had posted a video peculiar to the installation part and what MetaMask is all about. So now let's go uh, to the browser again and go to this Remix part. So we simply type Remix ID. I go here. And this is the uh, interface that you will get. 
you will have some kind of this interface and what we'll be interested today in this video is the contracts so we'll just take anything <coughs> and uh, so we'll not be able to uh, we i'm not going to type here any code because i'm just picking it up from the open web and i'm simply pasting it here so uh, okay so i have pasted this code and now this code i have not written on my own i have just picked it up from the open web i found it i deployed it and i simply i'm using it i have done few uh, amends to it for uh, this uh, video post wherein i have named this contract as blockchain nuts and bolts and that's the only thing that you'll have to change in case you are trying to do uh, it yourself this complete thing so contract name you can change and then the other thing that you can change is ba uh, the name symbol decimals and the total supply upon t so uh, the name of the token that we'll be doing here is BANB Anupam T and uh, it'll be known as ATC T and this is uh, the, these are the decimal part of like Satoshi has got a million uh, sorry the Bitcoin has got a mil million Satoshis in uh, subsets uh, like rupee has got about 100 paisa US has got cents so similarly what kind of subsetting uh, division subdivision we can expect uh, of the out of this token so up to 18 decimals and that's all that's all so that's only the thing that we are supposed to do otherwise everything is set uh, smart contract and uh, we'll just deploy it now so first of all we'll see pragma solidity so this solidity contract has been written in a 0.5 so while we go to this compile uh, window here we'll select a suitable compiler 0.5 and uh, it's ready we'll do compile storage dot sol so this is this the name of this uh, contract was storage dot sol and we are just compiling it so the green tick has come so it means everything is okay and uh, everything is supposed to be okay because it is a standard thing and i have not done anything in this code so i have simply uh, amended few para parameters to make it more peculiar and after this compilation is done we'll go to the next part that's the deployment part now while we deploy it the thing is on the other tab you should have your metamask open now this is the same item my metamask wallet which i had used in uh, the earlier video wherein i had installed metamask i had done some transactions so i am left with 8.9273 ethers here and you can see some transaction test uh, coins that i have created here so cat atc atc coin and similarly we'll get we'll create some uh, coins here like ba nb at uh, at ct etc whatever we had given defined in the uh, uh, solidity contract so we'll go again to the remix we'll deploy it now here instead of this environment the moment i select inject web3 it will immediately connect with the metamask and how has it connected so what is my address here 0x2a6564 so immediately the moment i have done injected web3 it has immediately identified the account and it's all ready so i'll be able to uh, deploy it here and now creation of blockchain nuts and bolts pending so this is that pending thing now till such time i confirm in my wallet that i am i am actually doing this transaction it will not uh, move ahead and again here uh, the uh, same thing apply estimated gas fee will be there so within 15 seconds with this kind of uh, transaction fee that i am uh, leaving here that i am giving here so uh, it will it this transaction is likely to settle in 15 seconds so i'll say confirm once i say confirm creation of blockchain nuts and bolts pending so it will take some time creation of nuts bolts pending it will take about 15 20 seconds so okay now it is done so it is saying from so and so address on to this blockchain constructor value etc all this has absolutely happened we'll uh, just click here and we'll see uh, that everything is absolutely okay this all the transaction points have been generated and uh, there is supposed to be uh, where is that smart contract address which has taken place okay now instead of finding it there we'll come to this wallet so now this on december 24 0 ethers there is some activity which is which will be shown here in case we click this and we go to the blockchain explorer of ethereum we'll see this contract address now this is important this all these transactions whatever you are seeing here transaction hash status block timestamp etc everything this is peculiar to the just the smart contract we had uh, de deployed successfully a few minutes few seconds back so this is you can see from what address to what address 
how many tokens b a n b anupam t a t c t and this is the this is the token that uh, we had mentioned in the uh, contract we we'll, you can see it again so yeah b a n b anupam t and a t c t and this is the total supply and the absolutely the same thing is available here on the blockchain ether scan and we are seeing it live uh, after we have done it now we have copied this smart contract address now we'll go to the wallet we'll close this and we come down and uh, we'll go to the assets and we'll say import tokens import tokens we have to copy the smart contract address the moment we copy it here immediately it identifies and it reads from the live robston transaction blockchain atct now the token symbol that i had given was atct and it is a token decimal now add custom tokens atct this has been identified in the wallet and now these tokens are there so i'll import all these tokens in this wallet so these tokens have arrived in my account and i'll just be able to see these these tokens have arrived so now uh, it is that simple you will be able to do all these transactions so again uh, i'll go to the earlier wallet another wallet that i had created on the firefox so here we see it is 0.02 ethers and there are currently two transactions which are seen one was uh, these pertain to the earlier transactions wherein we had received and sent uh, some tokens from this account in this wallet now we'll receive some tokens from uh, the uh, uh, tokens that we have just created in this chrome browser so we'll simply say we'll first of all copy the address where do we need to send it we have copied it and uh, i'll just repeat it that everything whatever we are doing it we both uh, the wallets are on robston dash network so this uh, these tokens that we had just created uh, i'll send it to this account and uh, out of these accounts i'll say suppose i'll say 10000 10 10 okay 1 2 3 4 4 okay million tokens i am sending so it takes some ethereum again estimated gas fee so i can increase it i'll say hi so it will reduce to 15 seconds i will save it so this much of estimated gas fee will be levied on this transaction and from the just created tokens i am transferring these tokens to another account on the other browser so i'll confirm it and it is likely uh, to be clear in uh, cleared in 15 seconds so let's see so again uh, simply they'll not arrive it arrive here we'll have to import them let's see what happens so once this uh, transaction is confirmed here we'll get a uh, pop up that the transactions have been confirmed and they have been uh, concluded with and therein we'll go to the blockchain explorer and uh, or the activity log we'll copy the smart contract address and then we'll import the tokens that we have just transferred from this account to the other account and that uh, in in that particular account so let's wait for few seconds more yeah so it has happened this is the uh, transaction details that are happened and uh, that have happened mm. and where is the smart contract address this is the smart contract address we'll just copy it we'll move to the browser other browser and we'll move to assets so till now it has got 0.02 ethers now we have now we'll import tokens now you see that whenever the moment i press uh, the control v button i press the smart contract address it will immediately read the token symbol again it has immediately read read the token symbol and add custom tokens and i and whatever tokens that i had transferred from that account now they are here import tokens and now they will be visible here so these are visible here absolutely so simple i created the tokens and this is the uh, these are all the details of transaction hash uh, transaction details the time stamps and what date and what value of transaction what was the transaction fee levied here etc all these transactions so it is absolutely so simple so i'll just revise upon what we had done this code that erc20 uh that i have pasted here this will be available in in the description absolutely same and you can amend it to your convenience you can create your own tokens transfer it i'll also share my uh, it, this address so i intend to keep this valid for some time so you can transfer for some test purposes in case you are interested so uh, we started with this we went to this remix.ethereum.org website we went to this uh contract and we uh, pasted this complete solidity contract here and after pasting we simply uh, um, selected the right compiler so this pragma solidity 0.5 so we uh, selected it here 
there after we compiled it after we compiled it we went to the other interface that's uh, the deployment part wherein we selected the right environment and therein we deployed the contract now after this contract was deployed the wallet got activated and the transactions were confirmed after about 10 15 seconds all these transactions were confirmed and we could see all these activities whatever this transaction and gas and uh, had expended and was done on the metamask wallet wherein uh, in the metamask wallet from the activity we went to this Uh, blockchain explorer we got hold of the smart contract address from this uh, smart contract address we came back again to metamask wallet and we went to the asset heading and then we imported tokens here after importing tokens we got all these uh, tokens here whatever we had generated uh, these number of tokens were defined in the uh, this smart contract code so where are they absolutely here so these are the tokens that we had created and the decimals were 18 so after these tokens were created in this metamask wallet we transferred uh, just for a test purpose uh, from uh, this account to another account uh, on another browser and this is a separate account we copied the address and we pasted it there and we send send it here so it took about 10 15 seconds again and all these tokens were transferred here so and this is absolutely simple so this is the way a token is created and absolutely everything is available uh, in the activity part you can just go to the activity part and you can just check your transactions on the blockchain explorer in this particular case we have got this ether scan which is peculiar to the robston part so this is the robston test network and otherwise you are free to use any other uh, network that i had mentioned ropen robston or coven or ring we gorilla so absolutely same so that's how uh, uh, so simple is the thing that you can create your own tokens and you can uh, use them immediately for transfer that's the importance of these standards that erc20 uh, now Uh, one difference ERC20 are the fungible tokens so these are replaceable so each token means uh, one token is absolutely equal to another token so one token can be it is just like the uh, the fiat currency 1 dollar or 1 rupee they are equal to 1 dollar and another 1 rupee so if i hold if i hold some uh, rupees 1 rupee and you are also holding 1 rupee so we can exchange it without any uh, uh, pr- problems they will be absolutely same so if we exchange 1 rupee or 1 dollar so absolutely they are the same so these are fungible replaceable so 1 dollar is equal to 1 dollar 1 rupee is equal to 1 uh, rupee unlike unlike in erc721 which are non fungible that we'll take on in another video for this part we'll just close and uh, thank you very much and in case you learned something do like and subscribe thank you very much Thank you.